Hey guys. So welcome to this week's vlog. This week, uh, well, right now, right now, look at, what is this from? I don't know. Ah, oh, this is from the sunroof. There, now you don't get little lines. Um, we're on our way to town. I have to get dog food. I have to go to the bank. And, and then we're going to go to TJ Maxx and see what we can find because we haven't been there in a while and they probably got all kinds of new stuff. Hopefully though, since it's Monday after Thanksgiving, so it's Cyber Monday, but hopefully they have restocked since over the weekend because it's noon. It's one o'clock actually. So they should be able to have stocked this morning and have plenty of stuff for me. So let's get going. Okay, guys, we are here at TJ Maxx. I am not sure how much I'm going to film inside the store. I may end up, if there's too many people, and it does seem like there's quite a few, um, I'll just do a haul once I get home. I'll show you guys everything I got. So, I'm going to go in. If there's not too many people, then I will try and, especially if I find something that I really like but I'm not going to buy, I'll try and show you guys. And then I'll just narrate later. So, okay, let's go. Okay, guys. Well, yesterday I told you we were going shopping at TJ Maxx. We did go shopping at TJ Maxx, but there were way too many people in there. So I was going to just do my haul when I got home. However, I still had to upload the video I made yesterday morning. That's Tuesday's video, which is when I'm making this video. And when I started editing it, I realized that I had this sweatshirt on and I was using a green screen. So you can imagine what happened. And that's the video you saw on Tuesday. I messed up, I used this green sweatshirt, it completely disappeared in the video. So you got background and my head floating and my hands floating, but you know, it's a cool new technique, what can I say? Anyways, I just wanted to explain what happened. So I thought I would wear this, this sweatshirt today because I got it just to make videos with. I didn't even think about the green screen thing, but so now we're gonna wear it this time and then I won't be wearing it in the green screen anymore. So anyways, we are gonna do our TJ Maxx haul. But first, I wanted to show you this. Isn't this the coolest cookie jar in the world? I got this at Sam's Club and it came with cookies in it. They are all gone now. Um, they were little packaged cookies. And so anyways, I, I wanted to show you this because some of the stuff I got at TJ Maxx, I'm gonna put in here. So the first thing I got at TJ Maxx was this guy. I needed something for my big brushes. I'm always trying to put them in there and the handles on them are a lot fatter than the other ones. So I needed a big thing. This is like a desk thing for scissors and pins and stuff, but I think it'll be perfect for my brush holder and it was, I have, oh, there it is, $6.99. So that wasn't too bad. Hopefully I can get these stickers off. TJ Maxx is the worst, but they put their sticker on top of this sticker. So hopefully it will come off. And I got these because I needed some Christmas kitchen towels. They had ones that were like more Christmassy. They had one really cute one, but they were like white background and I thought, man, those aren't gonna be clean for very long. So I just got these cause my kitchen's got mostly this darker red. Oh no, they're little snaggies. Oh well, they're towels, right? Maybe I can pull them back through. Anyway, I think they're super cute and you get three of them, set of three, and they were $7.99. So, I think they're super cute too. And I had to wait. I was gonna put all this stuff up yesterday, but then I had to wait because I didn't get it made because I spent so much time fixing what I messed up. I also got some of these. These are hair scrunchies because I need new hair scrunchies. I wear these ones all the time. And I just thought these were kind of cute. This one's velvet. This one's like black fur. And then this one is just gold and black. And this one is leopard fur and then just a kind of, it's a velvet one and it's like a top color. I thought they were good and pretty. And they were, and you got what, five of them, four of them, five of them for $4.99. So they're about a dollar a piece, which 
Sounds kind of expensive when you put it that way, but oh well, right? And then of course I had to get more black leggings because I have a bunch of black leggings, but I didn't think I needed the pockets until I got a pair with pocket, with the pockets on the side. And now I just can't live without the pockets. So now I'm never wearing, I'm not wearing the other ones except on wash day because I only have two pair right now with pockets. So I wear one and then I'll wear the other one and then I don't do laundry that often. And so then I have to wear, sometimes I'll wear them two days depending on what I do that day. But anyways, I needed some more. So I found these and these are like double, these are thick. Like they're, they have nice thick lining. So I thought these would be great for winter and they have the pockets. So anyways, they were $16.99. And then I got another pair and they are just that, I don't know, it's super soft. It's not the shiny one. And I had a pair of those already and I love them and they're nice and warm too. It's, it's winter time. I thought, yes. And they also had the pocket. Now this pocket, I am not sure about. I didn't notice it when I got it, but it is like pointed. So I need to check and see if my phone will, leave. oh, I'm filming on it. Can't check that right now. And see if my phone will even go in there, but they were $16.99 also. Did I say $16.99, not $6.99? Both of these, each of these were $16.99. So that's a good price. Hopefully the, my phone will fit. They're stretchy, so it should fit, but it looked kind of narrow, didn't it? And I have a Pro Max, whatever those are called. Anyways, moving on. Um, oh, I saw Kelly Strack talk about this and I was gonna look it up on Sephora and see how much it was because she said it was, that she's been using it for years and it's amazing. And I feel like our hair is a lot the same. I think I have more curl in mine, but anyways, it's a hair mask from Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask for your hair. And this big thing was $19.99. And she said that it was a lot cheaper than Sephora, which is why I was gonna look it up on Sephora, but I forgot to. So I will put it in the information box how much it is at Sephora because I can't look it up right now because I'm filming on my phone. So anyways, I got some of this because I thought I need a hair mask. I can always use a hair mask. And then I've been trying to get some lift here because when I wear my hair down, I hate it when it's just flat right here. And so I got this wet brush. I don't know how to get it out. Oh, there we go. And I'm hoping that it will do the trick to just get that hair up and around. Cause I tried, I bought um, those Velcro curlers, but I just can't get it hot enough right there at the root for those to do anything for the lift. So plus the back that they get so tangled up for me to get way out here and start curling by the time they get into here, they get so tangled, but I'm still gonna use them. I wanna get one of those those hood things and you put your blow dryer in it and maybe that would get it hot enough at the bottom. But anyways, I got this wet brush and it was, I don't know how much it was. Oh, there it is, $4.99, $4.99 for a wet brush. Couldn't beat the price and it's pink. Next best thing to red. So what else? Oh, I found these Shiseido, um, what are these? Facial cottons. They're just the little square cotton things. These ones are so good and they're expensive. They're, this little thing is like $8 at Sephora because I have one. I haven't even used it all because I've been, you know, saving them <laughs> because they're so expensive. This was clearanced for $3, but it was only regular $3.99. That's one thing about TJ Maxx. When they put stuff on clearance, it's not very much cheaper than it was to start with, but it's still way cheaper than elsewhere. All right, and the last thing I have is to go in this cookie jar, and these are coconut patties. These are so good. My husband and I got these for the first time 
when we went to Jamaica years ago. And the only place I've ever seen them other than in Jamaica is TJ Maxx. And I got, this is the original, which is just coconut and I think milk chocolate, dark chocolate, which is kind of like a Mounds bar. Isn't the Mounds? Yeah, the, the Mounds bar is coconut and dark chocolate. And then these ones, these are my favorite, which hopefully I won't eat any of these, but they are key lime flavored. So they are the coconut, the inside of the coconut is key lime flavored. And I am just going to pour these two, mix them together and put them in this cookie jar because I'm crazy. Why I bought them and even I'll have them in the house with me is crazy. Anyways, that's it. We're done. That is our haul from TJ Maxx. I think we did good. I think I got a lot of stuff and I'm really happy with what I got. I don't think I took anything out. I didn't. That's everything I got. I could have got a lot more, but I was kind of in a hurry because remember I had to get dog food too. And so I kind of wanted to hurry up and get home. So Pi didn't think I was starving her to death. And she probably thought I was because it was like four o'clock when I got home, which I normally feed her between two and three. So she thought I was, she was starving, but she survived. She's fine now. And, but I would have bought a lot more if I didn't, wasn't pressured for time, but maybe next time. Cause I didn't get any presents. This is all for me. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go back. I did look at the menswear and stuff, but I didn't really find anything that screamed. He's so hard to buy for. So hard. So is my son. Both of them. Terrible to buy for because you buy him stuff that you think is cool and they act like it's cool and it's still in the package the next year. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Even gift cards. I've given my son gift cards. He still has them for like two years of birthdays. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those two. I hate wasting money like that if they're not going to use it. But I, I can't not get them something. My son likes gadgets. So if you guys have any ideas on gadgets, let me know. Leave them in the comments below because both of them are hard to buy for. All right, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, I'm gonna remind you again, because right now, when you apply for, or you don't even apply, you just sign up for Rakuten. It used to be Ebates, now it's Rakuten. It's free to sign up. You go in, you put in your information, and then you get the, the uh, app. And then you click through the app, you click on the app, whenever you're gonna go buy anything online, Walgreens, Walmart, Amazon, Ulta, Sephora, all of those. There's so many stores inside the Rakuten app. You just click on the app, you find your store, you put it in the search and it, it comes up, you click on it and it automatically, whatever you order, it gives you, like right now, it's 10% cash back. Plus when you first sign up, I think, and you always get, $10 with your first order. If, as long as it's $25 or more, you get $10 plus the 10%. And it's just, it's just free money, guys. It's free money. And you can either have them send you a check four times a year, or you can have it put in a PayPal account. It's just automatic. All you got to do is go through the app first. And it doesn't change the price of the products at all, because it's still going straight to the, um, the brand, the store uh, website. So their prices are all the same. It's just that you get a cash back percentage for going through the Rakuten app. Anyways, you need to sign up. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you in my next video. Stay cool. We wish you a Merry